So it's Friday today and uh, I hope you all are having a good day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you saw in my last vlog that we wanted you to hold your thumbs for us, which means cross your fingers in English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and thank you for doing that because now we actually have some really good news to share. Mm -hmm. I saw that some of you were guessing in the comments what it would be and uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you because I saw that some, some of you thought that I was pregnant and it's not that, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> yeah, so the good news that we have to share with you guys is that we have bought a house. A uh, cottage. A cottage, mm -hmm. yes, a little cottage. Uh, so it's not a house where we're gonna move to, we're still mm -hmm. gonna live here of course. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna have it as, I don't know, a weekend house, a summer house. It's located in, I don't know, the most beautiful place on earth. It's Marsfjellen. It's the place we talked about in the vlog earlier. Are you really so nervous? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bit nervous because it, it's a, it's an important day today. Mm. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to describe you. So I could never imagine that this would happen now in our lives. Me and Johan was uh, at Marsfjellen earlier this year in the spring and in the summer. And that mm. was the first time you were there. In the spring. Yeah. many years before and I just love that place, the mountains and the rivers and the forest and the, it just has everything. And we spent some days there mm. this year and we both fell in love <laughs> with that place. <laughs> fell in love. <laughs> fell in love. <laughs> fell in love. <laughs> Those days are the best memories of this year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and since that day, since spring, I have dreamt and think about having a house there every single day. We have talked about it just, almost um, every day. Just to have a piece of land and to <laughs> get a tent, a tent up. Yeah, that, that's what we thought because having a, a little cottage or a house there is very expensive. Uh, or very expensive, but it, mm. it's too expensive for us to have a house there. Uh, so we thought that there's no chance we can have a house right now, but maybe we can just buy a piece of land and put up a tent mm -hmm. so we can have be in. Yeah. spot. Yeah, have our own spot. Mm. So that was what we were thinking. But yeah, that's what we've been dreaming of, but we haven't really been active searching for a house there because, you know, we knew that we, we don't have afford, mm. we can't afford to, to buy a house there now, uh, anyway. So, but we just kept dreaming, you know, <laughs> what you should do. I, I, I never want to, you know, limit myself with thinking, I can't afford that, I want to dream about it anyway. I think that's good to, mm. to have this positive thinking. So uh, one night, well, it was this, this Sunday night, we were in the kitchen here and for some reason, I just open up uh, the website with uh, <clears throat> houses for sale and search this area just for fun. And Yuan was standing behind me and <laughs> he saw this house. I didn't even see it. I was scrolling, you know, and you were like, oh, look there. And I just got a heart attack, <laughs> kind of. Because <laughs> it was a cute little cottage mm. and it was having a price that we could afford. Mm. And I just flipped out <laughs> since that day. It's not been as it used to be here. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. <laughs> he, he needs to go in therapy now. <laughs> so, Sunday night we saw the house. Mm. On Monday morning, I called the... Broker. Broker? I did. That sounds like someone is broke. <laughs> they, they, called... they make people broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. What <laughs> Oh, there was on. Okay. on Monday morning I called the broker and asked is the house still for sale and he said yes and I was like can we come and look at it now <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And we could because there was a neighbor in this... No, you don't know. And a spare key. Yeah, there was a neighbors in this uh, <laughs> village that had a spare key. Hmm. We drove up <laughs> the same day on Monday. Hey guys! Okay, so do you know what we're gonna do now? We just got the keys. We're gonna look at a little cottage in the forest of <laughs> Marsfjellet. This whole day I've just been so excited! We are so weird because we just came to the cottage and the first thing we do is not to go into the house. We explore the nature around it. <laughs> We got to look at the house and it was even better than I could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why it's it was cheaper than other houses is, uh, I guess, number one, that it's very simple. It doesn't have water, it doesn't have toilets. No. Uh, number two, it's because you don't own the land that it's on. You rent the land around it, but you don't own it. You just yeah. own the house. Yeah. That's called arende in Swedish. But most of the houses among these areas, yeah, like places like this in Sweden, mm. they are this type. You don't really own the land, but you own the house. And also it it's like hidden <laughs> in the forest. All, all by itself. Yeah, it's all by itself. I think many people don't like that. But that's exactly <laughs> what we want to have. We don't we don't want to be among everyone else. We just want to have our own house in the middle of mm. the wilderness. Mm. And it is. Mm. It's like all by itself. So yeah, we went to look at this house and it was so cozy. Mm. It's, uh, perfect. Yeah, it's just perfect. Let's show some of the <laughs> rooms. Brrr. Our little toilet. <laughs> oh, good. It's so cozy in here. <laughs> My heart is melting. You want this is all we ever dreamed of <laughs> in a cottage. Mm. All the things is including in this house. It's a little guest house. Is this our new cottage? Yes, it is. The same minute that we came into the house, we were like, okay, we're gonna have it. Mm. <laughs> so I called him back on Tuesday and said, we want to have it. Uh, make a bid? Yeah, so we had to make a bid and uh, there was only another, someone else that had put a bid mm. lower than they wanted. So we put a bid on what they wanted for the house. Mm. And that was fine, so that meant that we won it, or mm. we could buy it. <laughs> but still, I don't know how it is in other countries, but in Sweden, even if you have put uh, the highest bid and you are like the winner mm. of the house, mm. someone can come even in the last minute before you have write the papers and be like, hey, I want to bid more. <laughs> mm. And this was on Tuesday and now it's Friday. <laughs> Today we're gonna sign the paper. So can you imagine how we've been feeling these days? Mm -hmm. I have, ah, uh, I've been, so happy and so nervous and so sad. I've been crying, I've been laughing, I've been... <laughs> I've been so scared that someone else that have more money than us, ha you know, have found this house and be like, mm. I, I want it, because I know we, we wouldn't be able to, to bid so much more. Now, my lovely friends, we are going to go to the city. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna go in 15 minutes. Mm. And we're gonna sign the papers! <laughs> we're gonna sign! <laughs> and when that's done, it's, it's gonna be our little house. Mm. Wow! I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so excited! I have had nightmares all night that they would call and be like, no, someone else put a bid now. <laughs> I'm just gonna be so relieved when this is done. But okay, let's, let's go. go! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> I am so happy, I just want to scream. Do it. Ah! <laughs> Inanok! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Sinak! <laughs> Sinak, people think that you are cute carrying shoes every time in the vlogs. Yeah, they like it. <laughs> Let's go home. It's a bit chilly in here now. Mm -hmm. Time to make a fire because we've been away all day, so... So, did you know that Juwan is in the local newspaper this weekend? Here it is. That's Juwan in our garden. <laughs> and this says, the silversmith behind John and Jinton jewelry. It's a nice article. <laughs> it's so funny because when I met you, you didn't even like to be on photos. Look what's happening with you now. <laughs> Say in Swedish then. <laughs> so we are finally back home after a long day, but mm. it's been a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I still feel like it's a bit unreal that we actually own this house now. It's gonna take about three weeks, I guess, until we get the key to this house. Maximum. Yeah, maximum three weeks mm. until we can go there. And I can't wait to go there. I just want to go there now. Hopefully in a vlog, maybe in the beginning of November, I will take you all there and show you the house and how it looks like. And thank you so much for watching. And I wish you all a wonderful weekend. And I see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>